Jerusalem, 1150. Saladin united the Islamic world under his leadership and began to chip away at the remaining Christian holdings. In 1187, he defeated the Crusaders at the decisive Battle of Hattin and eventually captured Jerusalem itself. When Christopher Columbus stepped ashore in the Americas on October 12, 1492, the scale of his discovery was more extraordinary than even he could imagine. Few events have altered the course of history as drastically as that fateful day when Columbus planted a wooden cross in the sand of a small Caribbean island. But who was this man who discovered America? And what drove him to make that first epic voyage across the green span of darkness? During his first voyage across the Atlantic, Christopher Columbus kept a daily logbook in which he kept a precise account of the expedition. December 26, 1492. I hope to God that when I come back here from Castile, that I will find gold in such quantities that within three years the sovereigns will prepare for and undertake the reconquest of the Holy Land. Columbus had hoped to open trade routes to the Indies. He had a deep desire to evangelize the nations. And yes, he aspired to the titles and privileges that were certain to come with the discovery of a new world. But more than anything else, he desired to find a means to subsidize a new crusade to free the Holy Land from the grips of the Muslim army. During the time between his third and fourth voyages, Columbus wrote a book entitled The Book of Prophecies. The vast majority of the manuscript deals with the restoration and the future glory of Jerusalem. It appears that he could think of little else. He was obsessed with the notion that the scriptures plainly taught that Christ's final mandate, the Great Commission, could not possibly be fulfilled as long as the menacing specter of the Turks remained in the Holy Land. He wrote, For the execution of the journey to the Indies, I did not make use of intelligence, mathematics, or maps. It is simply the fulfillment of what Isaiah had prophesied. At the time, I was motivated by the scriptures to go to discover the Indies. I have already petitioned your highnesses to see that all the profits of this, my enterprise, should be spent on the conquest of Jerusalem. Clearly, the motivations of Columbus were significantly shaped by the eons-long conflict between Christendom and Islam. The evidence is inescapable. He sailed not to discover a new world, but to find a way to recover the old one. So, this last crusader set sail for Jerusalem, and somewhere along the way, he discovered America. America.